Hey there, everyone. Pastor Brandon from Church on the Hill. You know, I've been thinking the last few days about how different people are approaching this uh, quarantine time in very different ways. And a lot of it is based upon what their experience is. I've got friends who are small business owners who are really struggling and they're greatly concerned about how they're going to provide for their families, how they're going to provide services to their community, how they're going to provide for their employees. And so their great desire is to see things open up quickly. Then I have another friend, for instance, whose mother is on a ventilator in ICU and she's in very critical condition because she has COVID-19. So different people have different concerns and they approach it very differently. And I think one of the concerns I have is that this causes many to carden off into camps. And we say, well, this is my camp because I believe this. And the other says, well, this is my camp because I believe this. I think it'd be very beneficial for us who claim to be following Jesus to seek for understanding and seek for grace in this time. As I've been reading through the book of Revelation, and particularly chapters 2 and 3, and looking at these seven churches that Jesus is communicating with, he has a very different word for each of the different churches based upon their unique circumstance and situation. There's not a one-size-fits-all. He goes to one church who's very prosperous, and he says, you guys, you're prosperous, you seem to have it all together, but you know, you, you just don't love me anymore. You, you've missed out. Then he goes to another church who's poor. They're going through very difficult times through persecution. And he says he speaks comfort to them. So based upon what their circumstance is, that's the word that Jesus has for that specific church. And the churches are not to sit back and judge one another. Well, if they just had enough faith or if they were just had strong leadership, then they would grow or this or that or the other. The reality is each church's situation was different, just as each individual's situation is different right now in dealing with this coronavirus. You know, if we as followers of Christ carden off into camps, we do that to our own peril. I want to encourage you to seek understanding. Yes, you can have your opinion. Certainly, you can have your conviction. But realize that other people who disagree are not idiots. They're not fools. They just look at it differently because they're in a different circumstance and a different situation. You know, when I was younger, I used to think there was really only one way to view a situation. And, of course, it was my way. And if you didn't see it my way, then something was wrong with you. But the reality is, as we get older, we realize that there are many things that um, we learn because people view things differently. So let's have grace for one another and let's seek understanding during this time. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that we'd be a people who show love and care and concern. Even when we disagree and have differing opinions, we would support one another and help one another through this season because we belong to you. Thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Hey, God bless you. Have a great day. Seek understanding and seek grace.